fits only you can grow in the tail side indefinitely it will take care of memory uh, allocating memory you don't have to worry about how it will allocate memory it will take care of that inserts at the back of back are order one you don't it you can take it as order one so yeah treat it like an array v of 10 equal to 100 in x equal to v of 10 v dot pushback of x the resizes the uh, size increases the size by one and also fills the last element with the given element v dot pop underscore back will reduce the size by one and it will give the yeah uh, okay it won't return anything it will just uh, decrease the size by one so v dot insert of a pointer comma a value it will insert the given value at the given pointer and it but it takes order and time yeah elements are basically moved to the right so this will, this will also increase the size by one v dot erase of a pointer will delete one element and it will remove the size uh, it will decrease the size by one it also takes order n uh, yeah v dot size returns the number of elements but be careful it is an unsigned int so if you say v dot size minus one if v dot size is zero then it will wrap around so that is a very common mistake that we make so always uh, typecast it to int before using or do not perform subtraction yeah so Okay, so v dot begin. Yeah, this we have seen. V dot clear clears the vector. Yeah, size will be zero at, after this point, but it is no guarantee that the memory location would have been free. For that, you have to use resize for the memory location to be free. So, yeah, it has a built-in built operator less than. So, basically, what it will do is it will first compare. If you provide two vector ends, it will. First compare the first elements, then compare the second elements and so on. The first point where the two elements being compared are unequal, it will return whichever is less than this. It not only works for vector int, a vector of any structure, it will compare for each structure, just that you have to, uh, you had to define the operator less than for that structure. So yeah, 1, 100, 100 is less than 10, 1 because they differ in the first position itself. Uh, vector double w equal to v yeah even if it is a double it will type cast int and stuff internally maintains an array for storing the elements yeah so how the pushback works is assume you have a size so and the size is already filled so when a new element comes it automatically doubles the size or just something some things like that this is roughly enough so okay so next is a string a string is almost a vector char but it has just some differences like uh, plus equal to can be used instead of pushback although pushback will also work plus equal to can be used s yes, plus equal to d like all the example but yeah strings do not have a pop back s dot substitute start comma length will give the index it will give the index of the first point oh, okay it will return the uh, string so s dot substring of 2 comma 3 returns the string starting at position 2 of length 3 so basically 2 3 and 4 the positions 2 3 and 4 the characters of the positions 2 3 and 4 it will uh, fo uh, form a new string and return so s dot find of c comma start that is it finds uh, the next index where c is found uh, starting from start but it returns again caution it returns as an unsaid it so when yeah when c is not found it will return 2 power 32 minus 1 so when you compare it with minus 1 it will still work actually in int so that's why people usually give s dot find of c comma start w equal to mi not equal to minus 1 basically still it will work so yeah these are some examples of how find works uh, find first off of dlim comma start finds the first occurrence of a character from dlim in s so uh, for example in 2 3 0 1 2 3 4 5 that string the first portion where uh, for first occurrence of a character so any character from yeah okay so yeah basically finds the first occurrence of a character from dlim in s yeah comma 2 so from position 2 the first position where any of these characters in 2 3 4 5 is present it will return that position 
yeah so let's move on to set set, set basically provide fast membership queries they in order login time they provide insertion deletion update and everything so let's look at the syntax set string s2 so if operator less than is already defined for a set then you don't need to specify the second parameter otherwise you have to give set my class comma my order where the my order specifies the operator less than for a set for my class that is so insert of x inserts x into the set in order login also note that set does not allow duplicate elements all the elements in set are distinct so insert of x inserts x into set errors of x removes x from set lower bound of x returns iterated to the smallest member y greater than or equal to x if no such y is present return set so you will basically compare like if s dot lower bound of x not equal to s dot end this basically this checks whether the uh, x occurs in the set or not that is okay it returns an iterator upper bound of x yeah just the the only difference is y is greater than x instead of y is greater than or equal to x count of x returns a boolean 0 or 1 1 if x is in the set 0 if it is not present so but set requires a comparison function like i told before my order is present so you need to overload less than for handling our own data types okay so we'll just see an example just look at it for two minutes look at the boolean operator less than that defines the less than for a set so after that you can automatically use the set as a any normal thing done okay next we move to map map also has the same implementation as set both basically work on red black avl trees that is the it is sir plus codes okay yeah that is some example so map string command yeah map in command map of basically key a key value a key comma value so that will assign the value to key so yeah once again so the operations possible are m of x equal to y it will associate y with the key x in order log n time get this y equal to m of x so this will also perform in order log n time rest are similar to set by default like uh, in the get if you give y equal to m of some value which is not present then it will by default uh, put that value into the set with the default value of the second uh, of value that is key comma value it will take the default value of value and put it into the set yeah so next is bit set it's not byte yes it's bit so it is similar to vector of bits kind of but uh, the advantage this gives us you can work <coughs> as if it's a normal integer or and draw everything all the bitwise operators you can use so let's see some examples let's see some examples <laughs> bit set bit set of size bit set size of d and you can assign any particular key to that is any particular element to a zero or a one so accessing the ith bit also you can do b of i similar to a vector of bit but yeah b b1 or equal to b2 you can do bit size bit set size is to be specified at compile time that is you can't have a variable n there instead of bit set 100b you can't have a bit set nb that is one disadvantage but yeah rest is okay reset will do all zeros will uh, fully specify the zeros and flip will flip all the bits okay so q q uh, there is a there is except for q in build so q data type variable name so the operations possible are push of x pushes x to the end of the queue uh, and friend will obtain a reference to the head of the queue without deleting it yeah so q dot friend will give the friend value of the queue but it won't delete it q dot pop will delete it and it doesn't require comparison functions like set or map because it just keeps pushing it doesn't need the operator less than to push so yeah so dq double ended q so dq of my class dq push fr push friend push back pop friend and pop back they have the same meaning as what 
is present in Q and this also doesn't require any comparison functions. Yeah, stack is, yeah, stack, data type, stack name, push of x, top and pop. Yeah, top is similar to the front there except that it returns a stack top and yeah, this also doesn't require any comparison functions. Yeah, so container summary. Every container provides with a size, empty, begin, end, R begin, R end. R begin and R end are reverse iterators. So R begin, so you can, in fact, okay, we'll come on to it later. Traversing using R begin and R, R end is like traversing back when. So you can basically give, say, for a vector end, for vector end colon colon iterator, uh, it equal to v dot R begin, it not equal to v dot R end, it plus plus. This will traverse the vector from back to front. So, okay. In the following, it is used to indicate an iterator parameter. Yeah, so in the following code. So, push back v, top back, inside it, we, we saw all this, just a summary. In string, we have plus equal to insert, erase, substore, find, find first off, and set. Priority queue, it's by default a max heap that in the morning we were discussing about this. There is an inbuilt priority queue implementation. So, there is a max heap implementation in the STL. It is lightweight compared to set. So, whenever a problem can be solved both using priority queue and a set, solve it using priority queue. This is better. Usually, you can use, okay, set instead of this. Once again, I will give the syntax of priority queue. So, priority queue in of in of Q. This is by default a max heap. So Q dot Q dot push of X and Q dot pop up and Q dot friend. How how do you explain? Q dot dot. Okay yeah. So Q dot push of X will insert X into this priority Q. Q dot pop will basically perform the function of X stack min. And Q dot top will extract max, that is. Q dot pop will, uh, yeah, basically extract max, and Q dot top will give the max maximum element. So, if if you want to create a min heap for integer, say, then you will say it as priority queue of int, comma, vector int. Don't ask why it is vector int. It's actually the container which the priority queue must use, but it is by the, that is always give it as vector. No need to change this to anything and greater int this greater int defines a less than operator to be greater int so it, it was initially a max heap now it will be transformed to a min heap so this will be a min heap and so instead of int you can of course use any of your any other data type uh, say data, data type t means priority queue of t comma vector of t comma uh, your function and that will be the same operate uh, that is that will be that will be the same comparison function as you gave for sort or any other thing. Okay. Yeah, you need to include hash include hash include queue for this, but yeah, have that as a general template so that you don't need to figure out what you should use for using which containers. There's no priority underscore queue. Hash include priority. Yeah, hash include queue. Yeah. Okay. So, so next is par. So par, what it does is you uh, suppose uh, you want to store a set of points x comma y you don't need to define a struct point int x int y and all the necessary constructors and so on you can directly use par for if you if your structure is go only going to have two values then i suggest you directly use a par so ca for constructing a par use construct using make make underscore par of x comma y so basically a declaration will be something like par say int comma double yeah so this will uh, this is actually equivalent to a structure with an integer and a double and so if you want to assign p you can say p equal to make underscore par of say uh, 10 comma minus 5.0 this will automatically assign uh, 10 to the first element of p and minus 5 to the double part of p. So, yeah, that is par int comma string or par string comma par. You can again enclose par within pars within pars. In C++, you should you must never have two greater than. So, if you in the second 
இந்த செகண்ட்